Okay guys, so today we're going to be drawing a candy cane. All right, I have one here in blue and I also have one in two different colors, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to draw a candy cane. For this lesson, you're going to need a little piece of paper. <clears throat> you're going to need a pencil and you're also going to need some crayons. Today, I'm going to be doing um, two different colors. I'm going to use green and red, okay? Maybe I'll switch it to blue, I'm not sure. But either way, um, you're going to need these supplies. Very easy project that will make you look very, very, very good at drawing, okay? And isn't that what we want? We will still, we wanna look like we know what we're doing at all times. So to start off, what you're gonna do is you're going to start off with a little curve right here. So I'm holding my paper in the vertical position straight up and down, and I'm gonna start with a little curve, okay? Like a little smile. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to follow up. So what you'll do is you'll go up and come down, okay? So I'm going to follow up, curve around the corner like you're driving in a car, and come down, okay? Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make another smile down here. So I have a smile up here, and I made a line that goes up and curves down because we think about the shape of the candy cane, right? And then you're going to curve it down here. Now, once you have this shape, you have your curve here, and you go up and you bring it down, and then you curve under, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just going to echo exactly the same shape except on the outside. So now I'm just going to bring this around and come down to meet my smile. Okay? So now what I can do is I can just darken this because I'm pretty happy with my shape. And I'll bring this around. And I'll curve it down. And then I'll go under. Okay? Now, the next thing you're going to do is we're going to make diagonal lines. You see how my pencil, the line is going upward in that direction? We don't want to go straight across. Never want to do that. We don't want to go straight up and down like this. We need to go on a diagonal because whenever you look at a candy cane, usually the colors are on a diagonal. Okay? Now, to make it easy for ourselves, we can start in this little corner right here, and you can make a dot there. And then all you're gonna do is just kind of curve it up, all right? And then we wanna skip a space. You don't have to do too many. You can do, maybe for these lines, you can do one, two, three, four, five. You can do five. So now you wanna skip a space. Remember to stay on a diagonal. That's two, three, uh-oh, we're gonna have a problem here because when we get up here, we're not gonna be able to make this kind of diagonal line. We're going to have to curve with the candy cane. So we have one, two, three, and then we're gonna make four. This fourth one is going to curve. You see how that's curved like that? And we do that because we want to just kind of follow the shape of the candy cane. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, you see how that one's curved over as well? Now, that's our candy cane. That's pretty easy, right? Is it really, really hard? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to trace our candy cane and then we color it in. Now, think about the flavors that you want for your candy cane. You don't have to do red and white like a regular candy cane, like a traditional candy cane what you normally would eat. You can have fun with this. You can make it different flavors. You can think about what flavors you want, what colors you want. But whatever you do, just make sure that when you go to trace your candy cane, okay? If you think about the color, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna trace this. I'm gonna start with red. I'm gonna trace this, the outside line here. And then I'm gonna skip a space. And then I'm going to go to my next space here. Hmm, 
I thought I thought about different candy canes and flavors. I saw some sweet tart candy canes in the dollar store the other day. Now I did this space and then this one and I'm skipping again and I'm going to this space. I'm making what you would call a pattern. Okay, now that was my first color. Now I said I was probably going to do green and blue or I mean green and red or I think I'm going to go with green. Make it holiday. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in this space by tracing the line. Okay, and since I already did this middle one, I don't have to worry about doing the center line. So now all I have to do is just color right here. Okay, now I'm going to come to this one. And remember, I'm tracing the line and I'm going very dark on the edge here. Nice and smooth. Okay, and then I only have one last spot to do and that would be right here. And I'm just going to follow this line. Now, when I tell you I'm pressing down hard, I'm pressing down hard. And the reason I'm pressing down hard is because I want it to be nice and dark on the edge. This is the edge. All around here is the edge. And I want it to be nice and dark. But then when I go to color it in, I'm only going to color the inside edges. I'm going to leave this center part of it white on purpose. Because if I show you the examples here, you'll see that in order for make the candy cane to make the candy cane look a little bit realistic, um, what you do is you color dark on the edge here, all around the edge. And then as you go towards the center, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. So you can see here, it's really dark and then it gets lighter and then it's white. Dark, lighter, white, okay? So even with this one, let me show you the other one that has the two colors. Again, the darkest part of the color and then a little bit lighter and then white. So I'm gonna show you on this one. So when I color, I'm going in the direction this way and this way, the same as the candy cane. So I'm gonna color really dark right here and really dark coming on here, just like the diagonal lines. And then I'm gonna do it on all of these. I'm following the same shape. Look, I have to curve it right here. Now, if you want to just color in your candy cane, that's fine, it's fine. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to show you how you can make it look rounded because a candy cane is sort of rounded, right? Okay, so notice that I only colored in just a little bit, just on the edge, and I'll do it with my red too. Just a little bit all around the inside edge, not on the outside, on the inside edge. Okay, I'll do it with this one. And color on the inside edge. Try not to leave any white space right there. Okay. See how I left the center? All right, and I'm gonna do the inside edge right here. Now remember, you have to curve it over just like the shape of the candy cane. Look, curve, curve. Okay. All right, now the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to then take it and just color very lightly on the inside of that shape right there like that. See, very lightly, just on the inside of the dark part. Very lightly, very lightly. And if you can't, if you just wanna color it all one color, no problem. Okay, so I did those. Now I'm gonna color very lightly just on the line too, just a little bit. Just add a little touch, okay? And then the last thing is, we're going to do a little light with our second color. See how it's lighter? And you see how I'm coloring on the diagonal? A little bit lighter right here, a little bit lighter right here. Follow the curve, do a little bit of color there, just a little touch. And then a little bit in here. Okay, and there you have your candy cane. Now, if you wanna add other little things or you wanna add other small candy canes, you can, but this is pretty much how you do it. And if you want to just color all of this in and you, want, you don't want to leave this white in the center, that's fine too, okay? And then after you're done, 
what you're going to do is you can write your name here. You can put little stars all around it. Like if you want to put um, little trees all around it or little stars, you can do little trees. anywhere you want and you can do snowflakes right or you can do lines you can make a pattern behind here of lines and we know that a pattern is when you take two or three two or more objects or lines or shapes and you repeat them back and forth first color second color first color second color first color second color and then you can do it however you want. And this is the project. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Try it out. And if you remember, if you don't want to color the center, um, if you don't want to leave the center white, you can just color and just focus on making a pattern. A, B, A, B, A, B, red, green, uh, green, red, green, red, green, red, or whatever colors you want. Create a pattern, okay? Just for interest and it will make whomever you look at, whoever looks at your artwork, they're going to love it. Okay, good job, and I will see you in the new year, okay? Goodbye.